Hey guys, so this video is actually going to be a little bit different. Um, I am trying to start a new segment on my channel called Locked In with Brie. Shout out to my bestie Brittany for the name. Uh, and basically what I want to do is use a lot of the natural talents that I have as well as my career by trade, which is being a therapist. <coughs> How will I be being a therapist, you ask? Basically, I am going to try to do a little bit of motivational or inspirational speaking to you guys, teaching you different things that I actually personally work with a lot of my own clients on, and really just helping you with various life challenges and things that you may be going through, you know? And so I figured I'd get this kicked off today by talking about goals, okay? Now, it's the beginning of the year. I'm sure all of you have known someone, or even maybe yourself, were setting those New Year's resolutions of, oh, I'm gonna do this, oh, I'm gonna do that. Um, and they were just not really, you know, you weren't really committed to it, right? Or maybe you really wanted it, but there was no real uh, dedication in the way everything happened, right? And so a lot of times our news resolutions don't really succeed because they are not the same as having a goal. And even sometimes having a goal is not enough. It's wanting to have something that's called a SMART goal, okay? The acronym SMART, which if I can, I'll try to put it maybe on this side over here. Um, a SMART goal stands for specific, measurable, attainable, or achievable, whichever, uh, realistic, and time-based, okay? And so what we're going to do is go down and break down each one of those by using um, an example for each thing, right? So let's say, for example, your resolution was, I want to save money this year, right? That goal is not specific. It might be measurable, but not really because there's no amount we're measuring. Is it uh, achievable? We don't know, right? Because we haven't determined if that money that you want to save is right for your budget. Is it realistic? We don't know because we don't have enough detail, right? As well as, is it time-based? We have not set a deadline for this goal, okay? So let's de develop this into a goal. Now let's say that you want to save up enough money to uh, be able to go on a vacation, right? And let's say you're just a family of three, you know? and you wanna to go on to vacation. You determine based on wherever you wanna go and all this other jazz that you need to save um, about $2,000 for your vacation. Whatever type, just plug in wherever you wanna go, okay? So with that being said, your goal now becomes a bit more specific because you say, I want to save $2,000, all right? So now we have something very specific um, that we're working towards. The next part, the M, is gonna stand for measurable, okay? You know, you're asking yourself, is there a way for me to measure or know that I've reached my goal or that I'm on track for my goal? Absolutely, right? Money is um, something numeric, which means that it's based on numbers. So you can measure it based on just the money you can count in your hand, checking the money in your account, right? Or wherever you keep your money, you'll be able to track your progress and know when you've achieved your goal, okay? And the A, of course, stands for achievable, right? So now that we know specifically how much money we want to save and we're going to be able to measure that, we have to re realize, is that achievable? You know, do we have the resources necessary to achieve this goal? Now, obviously, if you're unemployed and you don't have any way to make any income, then this goal is probably not going to be achievable for you, right? <clears throat> or let's say that every month your expenses are in excess of your income, right? So you're sending out more money than you're bringing in. It may not be realistic for you, depending on your time frame and all that, okay? So you have to determine for my life and for my um, goals, is this going to be achievable? So we're going to come back to that, okay? Now the R stands for realistic. Based on your goal, your needs, and you know everything else you got going on, is your goal realistic? Now, re your realistic goal is usually gonna be based on the resources you have, the amount of time you have to dedicate to your goal, as well as just the time frame or the deadline that you set for yourself, right? So let's say I'm working a regular job, um, making $10 an hour, let's just say, right? Um, now, if I wanna say I wanna save $2,000, can that goal be achieved? It could, right? Um, however, if you want to say, I want to save $2,000 by next week based on this, that's probably not very realistic, right? So based that the, that time frame that you've assigned yourself is what really is going to make the difference on if your goal is going to be realistic, if it's achievable based on your time frame, right? And so once again, I'll try to make sure I insert that back over here. 
the SMART goal is specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-based. And that's the best way, before you start jumping in trying to solve problems, trying to come up with solutions, trying to reach a goal, is first of all setting an actual SMART goal, okay? So that's really all I have for today, guys. You know, I'm really gonna try to start coming up with different topics and things that I can talk to you about and that hopefully helps you guys um, on Fridays. Those are gonna be those videos. So they will not be related to hair. It will just be um, any type of like locked in with Brie videos or beauty or other stuff type of reviews, that kind of thing, right? Um, if you have any topics that you want me to address or anything that you want me to talk about, please feel free to drop that in the comments below and I'd be more than happy to talk about that. Um, if I don't get any other topics, what I want to talk about next time is probably going to be communication. Okay, guys? But once again, thank you so much for continuing to support my channel. And if you are open to these type of videos or interested, please give this video a thumbs up and feel free to uh, just subscribe to my channel. All right, guys. Thank you. Bye.